This is video one in how to paint a face using ArtRage 2.5. In this video, I'm going to show you a slick trick on how to make a vase easily. Right now, let's go into File, New Painting. I don't want this one, so I'll click No. I'm going to change this to 768. by 1024. I'll leave it at 72 dots per inch because I'm not really going to do anything with it. And then I'm going to leave it at white and click OK. I'm going to go up here and add a layer. I never like working on the first layer. That's the background layer. And for this particular trick to work, you'll need to have another layer or two. So we've got our layers. Now we're going to go into References, pick a picture, put our cursor so that we could rotate a little bit so it's just right. We can move it a little bit over. I'm going to use the oil brush. I've got my pressure set to 100%. My thinner is quite low. Loading 100%, instant dry is off, auto clean is on. So let's start painting the face. Now what I want you to understand is you don't have to be perfect. In digital art, there's no need. You're just going to just have fun. Now I'm right clicking and moving it up so I can make my base. As you can see, it's not great. That's okay. It will be. Now we're going to go and move this so it's bigger. So I have more paint on my brush. And I'm just going to smoosh it around and make my base. Now you can see I'm not being careful at all. I don't need to be in digital art. That's why I love it. I love any art. They make mistakes and easily correct them. Okay, now we're going to go to the eraser and we're going to do a little bit of adjusting here. So it looks more like a vase. I think I need to go down a little bit here. And I can add some more paint where I want it. Make it a little smaller. That's the thing with painting. You just kind of go back and forth, back and forth until you get satisfied. You don't have to be perfect right when you first do something. It's not needed. I don't think any painter, unless they've had absolute years of practice, can do something totally perfect the first time. They're going to tell you, if you ever talk to any of them, that they constantly are adjusting, readjusting, fixing, and doing it new. So digital art just makes it that much easier to correct. You don't have to restart a painting if you screw it up. That's why I love digital art. Plus I don't have the mess. I don't have to clean up a mess, just get out of the program and turn off my computer. Let's round this a little bit. Now you'll notice I am not making this part. That's because if I want to use it and paint 
flowers in it. I want to have it so that I can. I could always paint the back by putting it on a different layer. Now let's go into stencils. Click on a ruler. Click the X to exit. I want to right click, move it over. And I'm going to take a grip handle, turn it. I'm going to hold down the shift key and it'll be a straight line. Now I'm going to find like the middle, what I consider to be the middle. I'm going to click on the eraser and I'm going to get rid of this half of it. Now the neat thing with digital art is you don't have to do a complete vase like you do by hand. I don't know about you, but I'm right-handed and it's very, very hard for me to get it symmetrical. So by using digital art, I can do it quicker by clicking on this arrow, click duplicate layer. I now have another layer. Now I click on this arrow, on the duplicate layer arrow. I click on transform layer contents. I click on another arrow and I say flip horizontally. And as you can see, it's, it's a complete vase. Now I can click the move and I can move it where I want. I click OK and I now have a vase, which I can clean up and do later. But I just simply wanted to show you how easy it is to make something be symmetrical without having to do the left or right side, depending on if you're left or right handed. I hope you enjoyed this trick and will use it to your advantage.